This is uh, pretty different content to what I usually make. I've decided to make a guide for you guys on how to print Fort of the Damned keys and also create an empty Fort of the Damned vault while the Fort of the Damned is still active. You'll see how quick and easy it is to actually pull off some of the things that I do in a lot of my videos. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, this might annoy some people, but I'd love to see some more keys moving around on some maps. Enjoy. First things first, you want to have a captain's ship so that you can buy the quest to dig up uh, Skulls of Destiny. So then you want to go to the shipwright and you want to go to the second option and the last tab and you want to select the legendary search for the Skull of Destiny. I prefer to buy bundles because I don't want to have to go to an outpost to buy this quest in the middle of something. Now what we want to do is collect some ritual skulls. My favorite way to do that is to complete the fleet world event. You can also do the Ashen Winds event, but my favorite is to do the fleet event, so I'll show you how that's done. Go wherever the wind carries you. All right, so starting now. When doing this event, I would definitely recommend raising your sails, especially in the first two waves if you solo it, uh, because most of the time it's just Skelly sloops, which won't be too difficult for you to handle. Uh, so you don't want to, you know, finish destroying it and then you just sail past all the loot. Best thing that I've found to do is to aim for the uh, skeletons on the cannons. Well, there you go, that's the first one sunk. Less than a minute. Usually waiting for the loot to pop up and grabbing it takes longer than the actual sink itself. It's a bit trickier. You want to aim for the lowest part of their boat all the time. It doesn't matter if you think it's a second deck or whatever, just aim for the lowest part because it's just going to help you in the end. Make sure that it sinks. Okay. Oh, I've got one in the bottom deck already. Sometimes you will get them like this where they sort of try and ram you a bit. You want to get some distance so that you can aim for certain parts of their boat. I think they've sunk already. They did just anchor ball me, but I'm pretty sure they've just sunk. Yep, there you go. Done. So that took less than 10 minutes. You want to make sure you get two ashen keys. There's always two ashen keys and three ashen chests. Now what we do is put this down. We want to put down the legendary search for the Skull of Destiny. This will give you a compass that will lead you to a Skull of Destiny. So there you go. you'll see we've got two ritual skulls already. So now you've got the two keys and the three ashen chests. I like to just sort of play the lottery, see how they go. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Sometimes you'll be lucky enough to get more ritual skulls inside. And then you can obviously use them to print more keys. There we are. Now what I also like to do is find a Right, so you can keep an empty crate from when you sell. Or you can just empty one if you're not bothered to sell. Put the skulls in the crate. This time we've only got three, so it's perfect. And then you're ready to take it over when we get there, which is pretty damn soon. Now I always like the park here. It's so that I can grab the items when I need to as easily as possible, just by dropping them off the edge from the top of the foot of the dam. All right, so we're here now. What I usually like to do is drop this, pick this one up. Go around lighting them all. And you put that in the chest, take one of the rituals out, start it up. Most people 
will tell you to save the kegs. You really do not have to. Not for a solo. You can if you want, like I'm not rushing. Just take your time with it. Make sure you're always looking out. The goal here is to print keys. Not to beat the bloody world record for solo foot of the damn brass. one with the gun because one of the swords is going to come at you anyway. There you go, see we've got someone coming in already. So we definitely want to finish this as quick as possible. There you go, defeated. Now to get this key and that chest out of here. Put it in the harpoon spot. Well, I want to make it fucking quick. If you're unlucky, it's a sweaty crew. If you're lucky, it's not. They're going around the island. First key done. And then you want to pull the fuck out of here. See that, see that they've stopped there. That, that gives us plenty of time to just go wherever we want and hide the key. They're going to camp it. They think we want the loot. We don't. We don't care. We can go wherever we want now and do whatever we want with the key. Now, obviously, look, we've still got a lot of loot. We need to sell, so I might as well go do that. Alright, we're back. Uh, you don't see our mates anywhere around. Some people are that simple, they will just give up. Uh, it's, you know, it's just boring for them to chase people, so they won't do it. Which is fair, I've, I don't chase people either. If somebody gets the key and starts running from me, I just do something else. And we're going to do it again. So we light it up with the Skull of Destiny, and then we start it with the Ritual Skull. And then we try and smash out the waves before anyone arrives. Now, something I haven't talked about is Tuckers. You will sometimes get Tuckers here. The best way to tell if you have a Tucker is the amount of skellies that start spawning during the wave. It will drastically increase if you have an extra person around. Sometimes I'll just let them stay on the boat until the end, and then I'll shoot them and blow them up. quick that is. I don't see anyone else. So what we're going to do now, we don't open the vault yet. 
Got the key here. We've already got the key on our boat, if you remember. So we're going to start it up again. this up while it's active. So the skeleton's gonna be here. Take everything to the harpoon spot, drop it off the edge. And just do that repeatedly. I always leave the at least one reaper's chest on the island because some people are smart enough to know that if they're missing then it's already been looted. Alright, so there's a bunch of ways you can play it from here. You can just fish for battle gills if you want. Yeah, or you can go finish other world events, do anything else in the game pretty much, and just keep an eye on the Fort of the Damned on your map. If you see a key pop up, that means that somebody's completed it. And you might actually be able to steal that key, start up the Fort of the Damned again, and get the loot for yourself without having to work for it. I'll actually have a video on that soon. So you'll see these guys are anchored there, so I've managed to leave at exactly the right moment while I'm showing you guys what happens. Um, that's extremely lucky. Honestly, I did not see them at all, so, you know, that would have been on me if it all ended badly. Alright, so quick recap. You start up the Fort of the Damned and then finish it. And then you start it up again and use the key. Now you have an empty Fort of the Damned that is active on the server. Or you can just keep starting up and finishing Fort of the Damned to print the keys and this should bring in some players to screw around with. I've also got plenty of videos on the channel running around with Fort of the Damned or Fort of Fortune keys if you need to get any ideas on what to do with them. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Join the Discord, join the guild, in the description. See ya!